Hello everyone, my name is Helen and welcome back to my channel. Today I will make chopsticks in Blender. This is a beginner's tutorial, so I will be explaining some of the steps in this video. So first we start with the default cube, we're going to click it and we're going up to object mode and then we're going to click edit mode. In here we have just a cube. We're going to make two cubes. We're going to go to the modifiers tab. What a modifier does is just modify the overall shape. So we are going to click on mirror modifier. This is going to reflect what you have on the screen. Right now we have a cube. Now let's just pull this over to one side and voila, here's another cube. We are going to pull it up first. We are going to make the cube thinner. So by doing that, let's click S for scale and then shift Z to lock both of the axes. So we're only going to do the Z, Z axes. Perfect. And let's elongate it by pressing S for scale and then Z. So we're only manipulating the Z axes. Right here would be perfect. Let's bring them together by pushing it closer together. No. One thing about the mirror modifier is that it can be hidden. So you can click this box here and it disables it. Okay, but it's still there. And you can also delete it like what I'm doing right here. And then I can click the mirror modifier again. And then here it is. A modifier is just to manipulate your shape. If you want to click, if you want something to be permanent, you click apply. But the thing is we can't click apply because we're still in edit mode. We have to go to object mode to do that. So now let's click face select over here, face select, and let's click the bottom face. Let's scale it inwards. Perfect. And pull it up a little bit. Now let's loop cut it to make it round and smooth. There's two common ways to do this. First is by pressing this loop cut toggle right here, or you can click Control R. And here are the loop cuts that you can make. Let's put one here and you can slide it this way or this way or you can click the right click to set in place like this. Now the magic begins. Let's go back to our modifiers, add modifier, and let's add a subdivision surface modifier. Perfect. And it looks good. Let's go back into object mode. We can apply it right now, but Usually, I don't do that. And now we are finished with the model. I'm going to show you guys. And now we're finished with the model. I'm going to show you how to color it. I go down here to the materials properties. And let's click on a new material. Choose a color like uh, something like this. Okay, well, why can I see the color? Well, that's because you're in solid view. You have to go to material preview to see the colors. You can click this button or you can click set. And then there's wireframe rendered solid view, which we are on and material preview. Let's go to material preview. And voila, and that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't checked my latest videos, my last video was about the banker's lamp. I'm really proud of that lamp, so you should definitely check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!